The year was 1957. Ike was in the White House. Gas was 24 cents a gallon. The space race started with the USSR's launch of Sputnik. Elvis, Pat Boone, and the Everly Brothers topped the charts. And in Galveston, former mayor George Roy Clough, owner of radio station KLUF, was selling the station after decades on the air. By the end of the summer of 57, a group of Galveston businessmen completed the acquisition and changed the call letters to K-I-L-E. K-I-L-E debuted the morning of September 2nd, 1957 with programming the island had never experienced. With a new studio, all new equipment, and most importantly, a new sound, K-I-L-E hit the ground running. K-I-L-E brought music and personalities and fun to the island airwaves. Some of the early jocks included Rusty Draper, who later left radio to become an ordained minister. Fandy Anderson, a 2014 inductee of the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. The Swing King, Lou Muller, shown here making good for an on-air gambling loss to the citizens of Texas City. He bet on Galveston's ball high beating Texas City in their annual football game. One of the first newsmen at the fledgling station was a young man that would make a name for himself on radio and TV stations throughout the state of Texas, Joe Halstead. So until again, we can report to you, this is Joe Halstead. Here's Joe doing his best Dan Rather imitation during Hurricane Carla in 1961. Other jocks that called KILE home through the years were Pat Fant, Ron Foster, Kenny Miles, Tom Tyler, Daryl Hendricks, Rex Russell, Dan Gallo, Pam Ivey, Brother John Walton, Ken Rush, Dean Bailey, Bob Ford, Ray Flores, Chris Allen, and who could forget longtime newsman Larry Sanville, and award-winning news directors Moss Thornton and J. Conrad Russell. And Sunday nights on KILE in the 60s belonged to a young man by the name of Dave Martin. Hi, Dave Martin here on KILE. I hosted For Lovers Only every Sunday evening, 1964 to 1968. I love connecting with our listeners and, and their lovers. For lovers only. From its home in the Galvez Hotel, KILE became synonymous with the beach and was a big part of the fabric of life on Galveston Island. Hi, this is David Kane, the Lone Star Beach Buggy. And who are we talking to? Where are you from? My name is Sandy Sigrist. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Goodness gracious, a lot of people from New York down here. While they may be considered tame these days, KILE promotions were crazy and fun. Station owner and president Tom Weishart always made sure everything KILE did benefited the community. From the annual Battle of the Bands in the band shell at Menard Park to benefit the Heart Association, to the food drives, to the March of Dimes, and Christmas cheer. A longtime Galveston tradition was the annual KILE Bridal Bazaar and Fashion Show, welcoming hundreds of brides to be and their guests every year. We even surprised ourselves with the massive response to our Show Your School Spirit contest, collecting almost 7 million write-in votes from schools throughout Galveston County. Tom Weishart sold KILE in April of 1985. Ah! It was the end of an era. From the birth of rock and roll, I wanna hold your hand. Motown. Now if there's a smile on my face, it's only there trying to fool us. The tumultuous years of war and dissent. There's something happening here. But what it is ain't exactly clear. Flower power. Rock and 70s. And I'll be taking care of business every day. Taking care of business. K I L E.
Broadcasting from this historic Galvez Hotel, KILE was there and was the soundtrack to our lives on Galveston Island. Galveston, oh Galveston, I still hear.